Okay, this is an armor plate designed in the late 1960s for variable body armor. It's designed to go in a special type of flak jacket. It's made out of boron carbide tiles over a fiberglass backing. I mean, it's, it claims to be rated to 30 caliber ball, which I believe they would mean M1 Garand. Okay, so the first time I shot it, it struck the edge, and it's hard to tell if it stopped it or not, so I shot it again lower. And if you look through the other side, clearly see it did not penetrate. This is 760 by 39 full metal jacket. Okay, trying it again, this time with Chinese steel core 760 by 39. Okay, here's the point of impact for the 760 by 39 steel core. And looking again, it definitely did not go through. Yeah. Now moving on to something more powerful than AK, an M14 loaded with M80 ball. Okay, here's where it got hit with the M80 ball. Got the big hole, but it did not penetrate. Okay, so now we're trying M193 ball out of a 16 inch barrel. Okay, this is where I was hit by the M193 ball. And we flip it over and still no penetration on the other side. Okay, one last test. Steel Core 556, even though this didn't exist till the 1980s. I'd try it anyway. Okay, here's where the green tip round hit, and it didn't penetrate. There's Mosin Agat 147 grain steel core ammo. Okay, here's where the impact, and to my surprise, this one actually did go through. I think I'm gonna hit it a few more times just to see if that was a fluke because of the damaged plate. Yeah, second spot of Mosin Nagat 760x54R landed pretty close to the other one, and that one went through too. So I'm gonna try a third time over in this area, see if that makes a difference. Okay, the third bullet hole landed right here, and that one went through as, as well. So I'm gonna just call it and say that this type of plate does not stop steel core high velocity 762 rounds.